So here we are this morning with uh, this is my backpack and this is my Garmin inReach Mini right here. This is what I use all the time right now. And I'm, I'm mostly going out on day hikes, so this is a perfect. Uh, it's small. Um, it syncs with my with my my phone. And uh, there's Ranger. He's hanging out with me this morning. And um, so it's it's lightweight. Um, I, I like having the uh, the satellite messenger that uh, I have the ability to uh, to use uh, my phone and text just like normal. And I have the bigger screen for the maps and, and things like that. So uh, I really like it. I, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do, uh, but I do like it a lot. The very first satellite messenger I bought was the Spot Gen 3. And it's real small. It's actually about the same size as the uh, Garmin inReach Mini. It looks slightly bigger, but it's, uh, it's I, I think it's a little bit lighter. It's about the same thickness. And you and it sits uh, right on your pack here. It, it, it's uh, you don't even realize you have it most of the time. It is a one-way satellite messenger. It's great for what it does. It was the first one I bought because I was trying to get in to to, to buy something and and, uh, and not cost a lot of money. It, I bought this for like ninety-five dollars. It's normally a hundred and fifty dollars typically, but you can get it on sale for a hundred or slightly less. Great, great satellite messenger. But it is a one-way messenger only. It has the SOS function, and then you can send out about two or three different messages. Uh, but that's all you can do. You cannot receive them. But it's a it's a great it's a great satellite messenger if you only go out hiking once in a while and you want the security and safety of being able to call somebody and uh, call for help if you get in trouble. I then upgraded to the Spot X, and it was about two hundred fifty dollars if I remember right. And it's a two-way satellite messenger. It has its own U.S. cell phone number, and it has a built-in keypad, so it's easier to type in messages. So it, it's it's a messages two ways, and you got the SOS function here also. And I really like this one. Um, I like this a lot. It, it is a lot bigger. It's not that heavy really, but uh, it does move around your pack a bit more. So I, I had to actually strap it down i use these these straps on the side here where the uh, where the trekking poles go i actually it's down here and to, to help secure it so because it does, does flop around a bit more but th this is really nice uh you, you have the ability to message both ways you still has the sos function and uh, it's a little more powerful than the spot gen 3 um, it is the one of the biggest ones uh, of the messengers, but uh, it's, a, it's got a lot of great abilities, capabilities. It does not have the maps associated with it, and you cannot sync it to your phone. That's to me that was one of the downfalls of this so far. And they do, a, you know, I, I'd like to see Spot uh, really uh, include maps with their, their messengers. The third one I bought here, of course, was the, the Garmin inReach Mini. It does not have maps capable with it by itself. You can use it as a standalone device, um, but uh, if you want to have the, the maps, then you have to sync it with your phone. And it, but it really works well. Uh, you have uh, a lot more of a bigger screen when you use your when you use your phone, and it's easier to text because you text just like you normally would. The one negative I have about I would say with the Garmin inReach Mini is that you really, for me, the way I use it, I rely on my cell phone a lot. And when you're out and about and using your GPS and you're, you're taking pictures and videos, your cell phone can go dead within a day. And so I have a, a portable uh, battery uh, pack that uh, can give me about three different charges. There's Ranger again, hey boy. And um, so it, it'll charge, um, either it'll charge my, my uh, Garmin in inReach Mini or it'll charge my cell phone up to like, I think three times. The Garmin inReach Mini can last about a month outside. So it's the, the portable charger is really for my phone. Um, this is great for me though. I, I like the inReach Mini a lot because it, it, it's small, very portable. Um, I use my cell phone to sync it, sync it with my cell phone. And because I go out on a lot of day hikes, it's perfect for, for what I need. If I were to go on longer hikes 
and, and my concern would be about the battery life of my cell phone, I would want to upgrade to the Garmin InReach Explore Plus. And uh, here it is right here. It is more expensive. I believe it was like four, 450. But you could see it's, it's uh, at least twice as big, probably about three times larger. It has a larger screen. It has the built-in maps. It's a lot more powerful. It actually has an accelerometer with it and it has barometer uh, in it. If I were going to go out on longer trips, I would actually want the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. It's, uh, it, it's got... This, it's got a longer battery life, I believe, than the InReach Mini. And then you don't have to have it synced with your phone. You can sync it with your phone. In fact, my son uses the Explorer Plus most of the time. And he still syncs it with his phone. So he, he hooks it to his pack the same way as uh, the Mini Mini is hooked here to the pack. And then he just pulls his phone out and uses it to message or to look at the map or the trail. Um, but if you were going on a, on a longer trip, I would use this as a standalone device. I would probably still take my phone in case I did have cell phone reception and wanted to use it. And, um, or for me right now, what I do is I take, I take photos and videos with my phone. I have an iPhone 11 X pro, which has a lot better uh, camera. So that's what I take my pictures with and my videos. The Garmin InReach Explorer Plus is really the top of the line, the best on the market in my opinion, especially if you want to go on longer backpacking trips and you're going to be out for a longer period of time. If you're going to be out for shorter periods of time, then honestly, the InReach Mini, the smaller one, is the way to go because uh, it's, it's a lot smaller. You can sync with your phone. You don't have to worry about your battery life. And it's, uh, it's got all the power that you need. And it, both of them have the SOS function with it. And you can uh, message both ways. You can download maps, forecasts, and, um, you, and it syncs. Uh, so it syncs with your phone and it uses the EarthMate app. And that's how you look at your, your map. I was a bit surprised because I, I thought the I would want the Explorer Plus more. I would want the Explorer Plus more if I'm on the longer trips. So, so just to recap here, I spot, I bought the Spot Gen 3 first because it's the least expensive. It's one way. It was great to have on my pack, something I can get on my pack quickly without a lot of cost. Then I upgraded to the Spot X because it's a two-way messenger, a little more power. It's got the built-in keyboard, a unique cell, US cell phone number. Uh, and then, and then I went to the Garmin Enrich Mini and then finally I went to the Garmin InReach Explore Plus. There you have it. That's the four I've bought over the last eight or nine months. So go ahead and leave a message below or email me. And I'd like to hear what your experiences are because, you know, I have my opinion. The selection of the right device is really dependent upon you and, and what you need. Maybe your, um, you know, your financial situation but there's not really necessarily a, a perfect one or right one. If I was going to say there's a perfect one, I'd probably say it's the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus, which is this one here. Uh, the Garmin InReach Mini is my actually my first choice. But like I said, if you're going on long, long trips, I would go with the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. So you really need to do research and, and look at what's going to work best for you and make the make a selection so if you want if you have any questions and you want some advice go ahead and send me an email or leave a comment and i'll, I'll get back with you within 24 hours i usually i'm, I'm checking my my emails and look at the website uh, multiple times a day so uh, I'll, I'll get back real quick well that was my dog ranger jumping in the picture again getting getting a video but uh yeah i'd love to help you out find the right device for you so send me a, an email, let me know, and uh, appreciate you hanging out with me and, and taking a look at these satellite messengers. I wanted to show you all four of these together one last time. Here is the Garmin InReach Mini. It's what I currently use on my pack all the time. And the Spot Gen 3, the Spot X, and the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. Thanks for joining me on hikingemergencybeacon.com. Have a great day.